My name is Leif Hammarström. I'm professor at Uppsala University. I'm also a coordinator of the SOFIA project, SOAP Film Artificial Photosynthesis, funded by the European Commission. We have assembled 14 people in the SOFIA project. We are representing eight partners in five countries in Europe, and many of us have come from different parts of the world to solve this global problem of CO2 emissions. Several years ago, we met Indra, Indra Neil, and uh, he talked ab uh, us about his idea to develop artificial photosynthesis using foam films. We use a very special reactor, and this is a soap bubble. The photosynthesis, light from the sun, is absorbed by, uh, by membranes in the leaves. And in those membranes, chemical reactions occur that use the solar energy to make a fuel. I work on capturing sunlight to split water into oxygen that we can breathe and other components that we can use to reduce CO2. If you fill soap bubbles with carbon dioxide and create a photocatalytic surface on a soap bubble, when sunlight falls on it, imagine that the surface of the soap bubble becomes active and this activity provides the surface over which carbon dioxide changes into fuel. This would be renewable fuel just from sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. My position is design engineer. We can make almost everything. So, and if we cannot make it, we know how to realize it in another way. So they can build much more fine and completely new devices which we need in that project to assemble all these soap films together and to make something that doesn't exist. My specialty is making molecules. My aim in this project is to generate new molecules containing chains that will give them the properties to be part of the bubble that will do the change from CO2 to a fuel using sunlight. Particularly Scientific is a company that specializes in uh, the development and commercialization of scientific instruments for uh, R&D laboratories and specially dedicated to uh, interface sciences. We are here to do some physical chemistry and to work on the proof of concept and the instruments that will be set up and built at the end of the project. One of the key components of the SOFIA project is microfluidics. Somebody has to actually make technically the system to make the bubbles. And we're one of the leading companies developing and manufacturing these systems. I use some frequency generation as a technique to look at water orientation with respect to the soap films. I will essentially look at what happens after photo excitation of catalytic moieties at the interface of soap and water. This is a truly multidisciplinary project and the big challenge will be to efficiently and effectively talk to each other the same language. I translate physical phenomena into computer simulations and models to have a better understanding and a better design of the technology. I'm a new PhD student from Politecnico di Torino. We are not looking at the molecules, we are looking at the whole system. At the heart of the soap film is of course an interface between a surfactant and a whole bunch of other molecules in water. And so our job is to try and develop realistic models to try and capture structure, thermodynamics and dynamical properties of the system. We try to reproduce the same result than the experimentalist, but at the same time we can see what they can't, what happened hidden in the reaction. As soon as I realized the, the beauty of, the, of this idea, I was immediately captured and I gave my approval for being part of this adventure. If you try to tell someone that you want to extract energy from dirt, it's going to say, this is science fiction. I would like to show them with image that this is possible. <laughs>